Well guys, we shot that big buck uh, about an hour and a half ago. I actually thought I missed. I was leaning back and I was in a weird position. It caused me to jerk and the arrow flew right and I thought I missed him. But I went up to the arrow and there's blood on it and it looks like good blood. I slowed down the footage and it looks like it went in through the neck, straight past through in the center of it. So I'm not sure. I tracked some blood for a little bit, but then we found decent blood. But we're gonna back out, probably give them at least four, five hours, maybe more. We'll come back and try to find him. But gosh, he was a nice deer. I'm hoping we get lucky and can find him. But y'all stay tuned. So after tracking this deer the first day through the late hours of the night, we came to this cliff and we found some good blood, but it was getting a little late. So we decided to back out, get some rest and come out the next morning. All right guys, so last night we tracked that deer all the way about 400 yards probably to a cliff edge and he started opening up with blood. So I'm hoping he's dead down there. It's a pretty sketchy hike, but we're gonna go look for him right now. So this is where the cliff starts. Where did he go? But that's not a deep canyon. So somewhere down there. But do we see a road? Lit? Yeah. God, this is not as easy as it is. Right. I guess I'll look around here. I haven't looked on this other side. Right where you're at, you just look close. Before you take a small step. All right, what's up guys? John Krauts here. I just wanted to kind of recap what happened um, after searching for this deer. So we ended up, the first day we searched for about 10 hours till the late hours of the night and we ended up finding some better blood by this cliffside, which I showed you on the video. And uh, we tracked it down probably about 50 yards down that hillside, but uh, it was really dark and a little sketchy on that hill. So we decided to back out and wait till the morning. The next day we searched for, shoot, probably eight more hours and we, we found good blood for a while and we kept searching it and it just started getting to littler drips, smaller spots of blood and then it finally just fizzed out and we couldn't find any more. My guess is that it clotted up and uh, the deer stopped bleeding. And after reviewing the footage, I didn't notice this when I was at the lease, but after reviewing the footage and slowing it down, I noticed I actually hit it in the brisket, the lower brisket. I barely clipped him. It did go through him, but in my opinion, I do think that deer is still alive. And I talked to a tracker on the phone and showed him the video, and he also agrees that he thinks that deer is probably still alive. But uh, I learned a few lessons on this trip. The main lesson I learned is I need to be more patient. I practiced all year. My bow was dialed in. I shot almost every day. And I was dialed in when I was at the deer lease. But um, just because you're dialed in, you still have to make the right choices in the field. Which unfortunately that day, I kind of rushed it. I got excited. 
That is one of the bigger deer that I've ever shot at, at my deer lease. He was a beautiful, tall, wide eight point. And when he came out, I knew he was chasing does and he probably wouldn't stay around long, which now in hindsight, I think he would have just stayed there and ate corn. And where he was in that lane, I had to lean over with my bow in an uncomfortable position to get a shot on him. And honestly, I just rushed the shot, jerked, and I'm surprised I hit him. I would have rather just had a clean miss, but we took all the necessary procedures to try to find this deer. Me and my dad gave it our all, and uh, we looked for probably a combined 16 plus hours and we couldn't find him. And I'm hoping he's still alive and he's not hurt too bad, and maybe next year I'll get a chance at him. But man, it was a tough one. Uh, I probably thought about this deer it, replaying over in my head that, different scenarios that would have made this different for weeks. But uh, what I want to take away from this hunt is positives. You know, I learned what I need to do for next year, and honestly, I'm just grateful to be able to hunt every year. And this happens in hunting. That's why they call it hunting and not killing. Unfortunately, even if you practice a lot, uh, some things like this can happen. But I'm going to try harder next year, keep practicing, and hopefully get an opportunity at another buck next year. So I hope you all enjoyed that video, and thanks for watching.